What is going on, Gulf Coast Nation guys? Welcome back to another bonus episode. This week we have something pretty special for you guys. If you guys do not know, we caught a Mako shark back in December. Pretty epic catch. I'm gonna put that video right here in the top right corner of your screen. But this week we wanted to walk you guys through the process of how we harvested cleaned and bagged the mako shark so we would keep it as long as possible we got a lot of meat out of the shark it was fantastic we gave a lot of it away to family and friends around the area you got to show the love to people who have shown the love to you so fish on fish on When we got the shark on the beach, we uh, we went ahead and put it, put it out of its misery as quick as possible. Similar to how you do a tuna, we put a knife right between the top of the head, in between the eyes, scrambled the brains around. It's pretty much an instantaneous death there. We went ahead, gutted the shark, got all the insides out, disposed of all the stuff that we didn't want properly, and then we cut the body into big sections, put it into a cooler, went straight to a gas station, put some more ice on the mako, right around 40 pounds of ice, I think, 40, 50 pounds of ice. Um, we packed it inside the Mako, like belly, on top, on the bottom, got that cooler chuck full of ice, kept that Mako cold as possible. And then we made our drive to Adam's house from Navarre, Florida. Then we went ahead and processed the meat. We're gonna walk you guys through that process right now. We're at Adam's house, let's go do it. Ew. Uh oh! All right, come here, come here, come here, come here. Quit touching that, quit touching that. Just pulled up to the house. Got the cooler in the back from last week or maybe the week before, but Adam has not seen it yet. And uh, we're gonna make this video. We're gonna show you guys how to process a Mako shark, okay? So we've got everything up here. We're gonna clean it up. We're going to, what is that, vacuum seal it and stuff yeah. like that. So I know Adam, I made him, like I pulled up. All he wants to do is open the cooler right now, but I made him wait. And uh, I think it's time. Yeah, I think it's time. Let's do it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, all right. The moment. Holy crap. Dude, I'm telling you. Pop that tail out of there, grab that tail. Hey, Miss Polly, how are you? That is awesome. It's so blue. Dude, some of the prettiest fish. Pull that jaw out there. That is crazy. Oh, I gotta take a picture of that. Fish I've been chasing my entire shark fishing career. Really? Yeah, that's that's a fish of a lifetime. I could tell this morning when you called. It was like, oh! I may never see another Mako really? on the beach. Yeah, I mean, I know guys that fished for oh, 40 years. Like 40 years and never caught one. We're gonna get this thing in here and uh, get some of the meat processed. This meat's cold and it's good, so we're gonna get it properly processed. So let's get in there and do it. We got our first chunk of Mako right here. We've got two Austin Legacy knives that are ready to make this thing light work. We got the Osprey right here, the fillet knife, and then we got one of his kitchen knives. So, never cleaned a Mako before, but I have a feeling Adam and I will do just fine. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at that. That's sick. All right, all right. Look at that Save skin that. Let's see what we've got. Good meat, good meat. Skin small. All right, watch out. That is crazy. Look at that, bro. Look at that meat, dude. All I'm doing here is I'm walking down. There's bloodlines. So uh, we're just walking. We want even, good um, cuts. So when we stake them out, you don't want them this thick. You know, it's obviously you can cut really thick steaks, but you want to cut them enough to where you get a good, thick, 
steak of Mako, but it's not too tall, not too thin kind of thing. So I'm walking this knife right down here, real slow. This Austin Legacy knife is making really light work of this Mako, Mako skin here. This backbone, I'm just walking right along the inside of it right here. And uh, just taking that knife, take your time. You've already caught your Mako, so there's no rush now. And I'm gonna follow that bone to get as much meat as I can off of the inside. And that, my friends, is how you properly clean a Mako. You done? We got everything kind of chunked up. The skin's still on. As you can see, this is a good technique to get really good Mako steaks. Like Adam's doing, he is staking it out while it's on the skin. And then what he's going to do is he's just going to run that knife right along the skin. All the steaks are going to come right off, and you're going to get a lot more meat. You're not going to get any waste and uh it's time efficient get closer cut that one up a little bit Sorry. adam and i've been cutting you want to uh keep it on ice so we're cutting and tossing here and uh, i'm just putting a little layer of ice every once in a while you want to keep this meat as cold as you can obviously normally your makos hit this time of year but they you know it's a lot colder it's right here in shorts and t-shirts keep it cold man take care of it love it love it like you fished for six years for it Got all the Mako steaks chunked up in the cooler on ice here. Oish. The next step, we're gonna take the cooler inside um, underneath the carport here, and uh, we're gonna vacuum seal all the steaks. We wanna share the love with people, people that have uh, helped us out, people we're close to, we wanna give them some Mako steaks. We're gonna vacuum seal these up in nice little packs go hand them hand deliver them to some people keep some for ourselves and uh i think tonight we should cook some so let's get in here and vacuum seal these things up yeah close it seal i'm gonna learn this i'm gonna get good at it i better by the end of it yeah <laughs> open it up pull out your desired length like adam was saying Get you a nice little bit. I don't want to make it too big because we're going to be sharing these with people. Cut it, cut it, unlock it, open it. I got a nice little bag. And then we got a nice little bag of Mako steaks. Vacuum seal, it's gonna suck all the air out of there. Boom, you got yourself a nice little pack of Mako sticks.
We had 20 bags worth of nice, clean, pristine Mako steaks. So, what an awesome experience. If you guys are watching this video and you have not seen how we got this Mako, go back, check it out. In the top right hand corner. Oh my gosh, right there. I'll put it right there. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below, share it with your friends, and as always, we'll catch you guys next week. Wow.